Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, from Patrick's Playbook, back today with another exciting Dollar Tree haul. And before I begin, um, I would like to, maybe you can notice, maybe you would notice behind me, um, the set has changed just a little bit. Um, between you and me, I think the gnomes went on vacation. And the bunnies went on maybe a little bit shorter vacation. And they will be back when the Dollar Tree has the new spring scarves. That is my hunch. Um, but until then, this blue truck, the amazing blue truck, is not from the Dollar Tree. It is from Michael's. Uh, but we found this, and I just wanted to point that out. And we put the Dollar Tree flowers in there, and this truck is going to be um, living back there for a while, I believe. So, having said that, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share the videos. It is great to be here today with a Dollar Tree haul. Welcome, everyone. Um, I would like to point out one thing before it's kind of a kind of a house cleaning before I begin the haul haul. So you may have, um, you may notice in the thumbnail that I had this home sign with a sand dollar. And, you know, we hung it up and comment below. If any of you have picked up this sign, I, I could not get this sign to sit straight. You know, and we don't know, I don't know if it's the way they the holes are sitting or or just, I don't know what, but we could not get that to sit straight. So also, we also tried this one and we really like it. We love the look of it. And again, it just would not sit very straight for us. So as you can see, we found that wonderful sign. Beach days are the best days and that one sits perfectly straight. So I'm not sure what. Uh, comment below if any of you have found the same thing with the um, with this sign or with this sign. But we really like them. And so, you know, we'll figure it out. And, you know, maybe we'll do something else fun with it. But for now, beach days are the best days. And we'll go from there. Okay. So, on to the haul. Um, the first thing that I'd like to show you is not very exciting, but it is just, you know, a traditional laundry basket. Um, I would like to point out that this also came in hot pink in our store, but I really like this color. I really like this teal, turquoise, um, you know, aqua type of color. Just love it, just love it. But just wanted to point out that that laundry basket also came in hot pink at our local DET. So that is one thing that we found. You know, we found, this is really fun, just kind of a nice, um, and sorry for the glare, just kind of a nice jewelry box with this B on it. So we found that, we just thought that was kind of neat. I really like the gold, the gold um, against the white. So we found that. I was very excited to have found that. And then these are so cute. These are so cute. We found these two kind of ceramic, I think, birds. And it also came in a little white bird. There, there's how it looks from the side. But isn't that the cutest thing? So we found these two. And he had a little um, white bird friend. There also, but we just picked up these two. I just thought the I thought those were so pretty. So we found those. And then I just love, and I'm sure all of you who have been to the Dollar Tree in the last week to 10 days, I mean, the shore living stuff has just been wonderful. We found these DIY pins, five fish, you know, just kind of a fun uh, close pin effect there, as you can see, kind of the close pin. So we found these, and again, it's a five-piece DIY pins fish. 
And then I'm loving these. The six piece, it says nautical icons. I know I, I obviously that is a seahorse, but so the six piece nautical icons slash seahorses, we found those. They come with a nice, just a nice string there. So we found those. So the shore living has been absolutely amazing. I just, we have been loving the shore living. And then speaking of shore living, look at these. Look at these fun stickers. This is, it says one sticker sheet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different items on there. Look at how cute. The popsicle, the watermelon, the shell. I mean, I just love that. I thought that was so neat. Coconut. So we found this, um, these stickers. So that was fun. And then, speaking of kind of the nautical theme and the, look at these. Now, look at this adorable crab pail slash bucket. And I don't know, do you think he's been working out? You think this guy's been working out? It looks like he's got some muscles there, this guy, the crab. So anyway, anyways, um, we found this adorable crab bucket. And then this one with the star. How neat is that? How neat are those? We were so excited to find those. Those are really, I just, the sore living stuff at DT has just been outstanding just love it um now this is really fun so of course now with you know easter has come and gone they have put out a lot of items like this just love this guy america the beautiful the gnome with holding the star you know kind of for fourth of july and independence day i guess memorial day too maybe um but just you know anything but just, I just love this guy. Just love this guy. So we picked that up. Love it. And then, you know, this is kind of an interesting item that we found. And there's also one in black, but just this really simple plastic vase. We just love this. I just love the retro feel of this. I don't know, kind of 70s, maybe late 60s, 70s. Um, just loving that. You know, just a nice, simple, just so many different things you could do with it. You could use it as a traditional vase. You could put other stuff in there. You could just put it somewhere in your home. But we found that, and we were very excited to have done so. And then, this is kind of neat here. It's just this really simple, this nice photo album. You know, DT has some very nice photo albums, you know, and this is a uh, four by six inch, but I just love the flowers. I just love the flowers on there. You know, just a very simple, but they have, they always have some really nice designs. You know, it's just a nice small one, like I said, four by six inches, um, but just, just a nice traditional photo album. So we found that kind of fun. Oh, and then, now this is interesting. So you know, I watch a lot of, you know, different channels, Dollar Tree channels, and everyone's saying, you know, you got to find, you have to get the knobs from DT. We could never find them. And then finally, look what we found. We found this two-piece decorative knobs, kind of the terracotta color there. And immediately when I saw those, I, I thought of this, and I've already hauled this before. And I had hauled this, you know, kind of storage container and we had I had glued a marble up there you know just so you can like lift it up and how nice would it be to glue one of these knobs on top of there and just you know your nice convenient way to uh lift up the top of the storage container so so yeah we were super pleased to have found those decorative knobs from Dollar Tree. So we were super excited about that. Um, okay, I'm gonna have one kind of everyday thing and then I'm gonna show you something super fun. So the everyday thing are these 80 count 
cotton rounds. And, you know, the ladies of the house, you know, they use them on their face. But we also got them, you know, as, you know, the, the great ideas you guys had given us to remove um, labels, in particular Dollar Tree labels. You know, soaking these in, the, in cooking oil and then using them to help to remove labels. But yeah, we just picked up this 80 count cotton rounds. So they kind of have multiple uses. So we picked up that. And then, okay, this is really fun. This is gonna be fun. So we found a bunch of LED string lights. I'm so excited about this. So we found two from Shore Living and we found two that have nothing to do with Shore Living. So why don't I show you, you know, so I'm gonna show you the boxes they came in and then we bought two of each and then I'm gonna show you how they look lit up. So I'll go one by one here. This is the Starfish from Shore Living, a 10 piece. So that's how it looks in the package. Here is how it looks outside of the package. I went ahead and put the batteries in. If you're light sensitive, turn away for a second. But look at these guys, these cute starfish. Look at that. And you know, they kind of come on the simple, you know, kind of the simple wire here. But you know, you get quite a few. So just really fun LED string lights, but I wanted to show you, just kind of show it up close, what it looks like. The really cute starfish. See if my hand helps a little bit there. There's without the hand, there's with the hand. So that one is a fun one. And then this one also from Shore Living. And this one's really fun because it has the sea horses. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. So look at these. And again, uh, if you're light sensitive, turn away for a brief moment. But look, guys, look at how these look. Oh my goodness. Those are adorable. The seahorses, oh my gosh. So look at those. LED string lights, shore living. And of course it is a, you get 10 lights. And that is how one looks close up. Just a really pretty blue. I just love those ones. I really love those ones. I can't, I can't figure out if that one was my favorite or if one of the ones I'm about to show you is my favorite. So there's two. Here is the third one. I love this one. This one is the pineapples. The pineapples, wait till you see how it looks lit up. I'm so excited to show you. Wait till you see this. These are absolutely adorable. And again, if you're light sensitive, turn away for a second. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I hope it's not too bright for the camera. So there it is without my hand. And maybe I'll, okay, so there it is like that. I'll put my hand there. But yeah, you know, so you, obviously you get 10 of them. Really, really cute. And oh, I'm there kind of all, oh, they got kind of tangled there for a second. But these are just, look at how, look at how cute this looks close up. Oh my goodness. Here, let me show you with the light off just for a second. Oh my goodness, everybody. I just love those pineapples. Isn't that the cutest thing? The last one here I'm going to show you, uh, 50 Shades of Mom. Go check out her channel. She has a wonderful channel. She hauled this previously, and it was on my wish list. Oh, my goodness. So here's how it looks in the box, the flowers, how they look. Wait till you see these lit up. So if you're light sensitive, look away. And I also want to point out, before I light them up, I want to show you the cord. It's a green cord on the flowers, and it's sturdier. I like this cord better than the wire on these other three LED lights. Those are super cute too, but wait till you see this. Wait till you see these gorgeous flowers. Look at that. Look at that. The blue one. 
green, red, and yellow. It is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these. We just love the LED lights from DT. But I mean, just close up. These are just, they really look sharp. So thank you, 50 Shades of Mom. Uh, we saw that on her channel and I was just, I was so excited. I put it on my wish list. I found it. So there you go. There are some fun LED lights that we found. Um, kind of in a, not a similar vein, but something I'm going to open up and show you. So we found this, um, we got two of these. So I'll show you in the package and then I already previously had opened one up. But we found this um, five feet of floral garland. And let me show you. Sorry for the glare. Let me show you how it looks out of the package. This is really fun. So on this, let me get it all. Look at this beautiful flower. Oh my gosh. So that's how the flower looks. That is how the leaf looks. And here it is. Five beautiful feet of floral garland everyone wow so cool so we found that and again i'll just show you one more time really quick there's the flower and there is the leaf and there's just so many things you could do with that a wreath you can you could cut the pieces off individually you could just do so many different things with it but we just thought that was so fun so that is the floral garland um just a couple more things here this is kind of fun. So we found these foam letter stickers. It is a 124 piece and we got, we got two of them. And I'll just kind of um, show you inside here. There's different colors. You know, you see the pink through the thing, but there's all different colors. There's orange, you know, and it's hard, it's hard to see here, but they're all foam letters. And you've got, you know, yellow, green, they turn kind of hard here, yellow, and the green, but this one here just has the orange in front. So it's just, they're all, they're all the same inside, all with the same colors, but we picked up two of those. Yeah, yellow, orange, pink, green, really, really fun stuff. Just so many different crafting things you could do uh, with those foam letter stickers. So we found those. Very exciting. Now this one is close to my heart because, warning, it's the blue truck. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. But I wanted to show you they are coasters. And here is one out of the package. Here is one in the package. Or in, uh, with the plastic still on, rather. And what I really liked about this, of course, the blue truck I love, but I love, look at here. It says, happy on the license plate. That is what the blue truck makes me. It makes me very happy. Um, I just, I just love the blue truck. I don't, I just don't know what to say. I just love it. So we picked up those two blue truck coasters. Very neat. We were so pleased to have found that. Just a couple more things before the taste test, everybody. Okay, so um, in December, we had found this Yardley from London. Um, this one is the hand lotion, you know, it's hand lotion. We'd found this English lavender and it's 7.5 ounces. And we had, um, so we got these two in December. This one is oatmeal and almond. And we really like them. So we found those. Now, in our last DT outing, we picked up these two. And I'm actually going to try one and see how it feels and see how it smells. Um, Yardley from London, we picked up this one, aloe and avocado. And then we picked up this one, the shea butter. So I'm going to try this. Let me try this super quick and just see how this... Um, Let's just see how this 
feels and smells. Oh my gosh, that smells really, really nice. It seriously does. It seriously smells so nice. You know, and it's it's springtime. I, I don't know. In Minnesota, most Minnesotans have dry skin until, you know, the summer, it seems like. But that's really nice. So yeah, we were really pleased with the ones, with those two we'd found in December. So now we picked up the, the shea butter and the aloe and avocado. So we picked those up. Super pleased to have found them. Um, oh, this is fun. Oh, I have to tell you guys this. In your DTs, do you guys have jalapeno peppers like in the jar? I cannot find them. I haven't found them since October. So I picked these up. I picked the whole jalapenos up. I really like these, but these are super, you know, these are pretty intense. You know, they're pickled whole jalapeno peppers. But, you know, I can only eat probably one of these in a sitting. Like the jar of jalapenos, I'll eat, you know, maybe a quarter of the jar with some chips, but we cannot, in, in the Dollar Trees up here, where I am at, we cannot find just the pickled sliced jalapenos. So I got these instead. This is a uh, Clemente Jacques, or Jacques with silent S probably in French. So you get a whole pound of it, so we picked those up. Or I picked those up, and the rest of the family doesn't eat these, so I, I guess I picked these up. But these are so... They're delicious, but you can only eat probably one at a time. But let me know, comment below, do your Dollar Trees have the sliced jalapenos? Because I am just, I want to find them so bad. That's kind of my, that's really my, one of my bigger wish list items right now is just that they would bring back the, the pickled jars of jalapenos. I cannot find them. Okay, just one more item, guys, before the taste test. All right, we love just these simple plates. 30 pack and you know I just I really like the way you know it has the ridge here so when you put coleslaw on there when you put some kind of you know you know regular paper plates you can put coleslaw on it or something like that and it might drip off of the side of the plate like at a picnic I just love how it has the ridges up here and I know it's kind of glary with the plastic but um, we just love this because it holds all your food there and it's not going to fall off if you have beans if you have coleslaw you know anything of that sort. So we love these. So we picked up a 30 pack of those. We were pleased to have found those. And one, okay, I, I guess I was um, mistaken. One more item before the taste test, although this is food. So we found the Shaquille O'Neal Frosted Flakes with crispy cinnamon basketballs. Now, when you look at this, um, you would think and I picked up two of these boxes and I opened one up and I had a bowl and I'm actually gonna give you a score in a second. But you would think the color of the basketballs would be kind of like that. And actually they're they're kind of, they're different. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I tried it. I did enjoy it, but I'm only gonna go 8.5. I will give this an 8.5, uh, mainly because I don't love the cinnamon basketballs. If it was regular Frosted Flakes, I'd probably go 9.5. So I can only give it an 8.5, but it was worth a try. You know, an entire box of cereal for $1.25. Um, it is 10.2 ounces. But, you know, give it a try. Maybe you guys will love it. I mean, 8.5 is not a bad score. It's a B. But I didn't, I didn't love the cinnamon basketballs. I thought they were just okay. I thought they were just okay. Um, but 8.5 nonetheless because I love Frosted Flakes. And guys, that is it. On to the taste test actual taste test is going to be a fun one. Here we go. So I am going to try this Gasbera's taco sauce. This is kind of fun. You get 16 ounces. It's gluten-free. Um, I have never tried this brand before and kind of an interesting, you know, kind of an off brand, you know, it's, and it's mild. It's not like super hot. So for those of you who don't like hot, 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 um, you know, this is probably okay for you. And you get 16 ounces. And I'm kind of looking at the back here. It's only five calories. This is only five calories for one serving, of course. A serving is one tablespoon. So I am going to put, um, I'm going to open this up super quick. And I'm going to put a little taco sauce in there. And I'm actually going to try it. And look at the trusty clip, Dollar Tree clips. But I just, this is, these are the Aldi 
chips. I'm not going to score the Aldi's chips. I just wanted to get kind of a nice um, plain chip to put with his taco sauce. So let's open this up. Put a little in a, uh, a little bowl here and see how this tastes. I'd actually, I never, I had never heard of this particular brand. Um, yes, Barra's mild taco sauce. So here we go. Kind of looks like that. So we just put it in our little trusty little container there. And let's just try a chip. And I'm going to give, so I'm not, I'm not, you know, scoring the chip. But let's see how this taco sauce tastes. I'm pretty hungry. Let's see how this goes. I kind of put a lot on there just so I can get a good, a good feel for the taste. All right. Gaspera's taco sauce. Here we go. Down the hatch. It is very, wow, that's a distinct taste. You know, they say mild. Um, it is mild, but I would say it has just the slightest bite. I like it. I am going to score Gasbera's taco sauce an 8.9. An 8.9, a high B plus. Um, there's a couple of brand name taco sauces that I really, really, really like. And I can kind of picture those in the back of my head. So I can't go too high. However, I will say to get 16 ounces for $1.25 with the way the price of everything is going nowadays is a really good deal. And I would definitely get this. I would definitely get this. I mean, this score is only a couple of points lower than maybe some of the brand names. So there you go at 8.9 for Gaspera's mild taco sauce. So wow, that was fun. So now these next um, two items I'm going to try are really fun. Now this is Snack size, snack club brand, Tahine Peach Rings. And shout out to 50 Shades of Mom. If you haven't checked out her channel, please do. She has an amazing channel. I really, really look up to her channel and admire it a lot. She loves Tahine. She always talks about Tahine and putting Tahine um, on, on, different, on different foods for herself and her kids and her family. Um, so I just think of you, Fifty Shades of Mom, um, when I think of tahin. So let's try these. So Snack Club Tahin Peach Rings. Uh, the comp, the um, 110 calories per serving, 260 per container. So let's try this. I'm really looking forward to these. Really looking forward to this. Yum, yum, yum. You know, before watching Fifty Shades of Mom's channel, I really hadn't tried a lot of tahini in my life. Or maybe if I had, I hadn't really known that I was. Oh, this is fun. This is really cool. So these come out, they look just like this. So peach ring. So let's try this. Fun. Peach rings, chili and lime. Chili and lime. All right, down the hatch. Interesting. Wow. You know, when you first bite into it, you can really taste the seasoning right away, the tahini seasoning. As you go, as you go, here comes the lime. And the lime says, hello, here I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. The line says, hello, here I am. So that is a very intense, my face is turning a little red. That's a very intense, it's, it's actually, that's spicy. And I like spicy. And despite my face turning a little bright there, I am going to give this a 9.1. Very yummy. You really do taste, taste the, um, the peach and the lime really come on after, at first you kind of just taste the seasoning. That is a 9.1 for the Snack Club Tahine Peach Rings. 
Wow, yum. Now this is interesting. Now this is the same brand. This is Tahine Toasted Corn, Chili and Lime uh, Nuts. So let's try this. Toasted Corn with Tahine Classical Seasoning. Very nice. And this is 140 calories per serving and 330 per container. Oh, I wanted to mention that these are made in the United States of America. Product of the United States of America. And let's look at the Gasparas. Also made in the USA. A commenter had said, could you please tell us, you know, where the foods, what country the foods have come from? So there you have it. All three of these foods come from the United States of America. Okay, let's try this. Looking forward to this one. All right, so I'm gonna try a little tiny handful here. So again, toasted corn, tahini, toasted corn, chili, and lime. All right, let's try. Here's what they look like out of the package. Down the hatch, I dropped one there. Down the hatch. Wow. Spicy. Okay, those are spicy. I like that. Um, I have a few more, let's try it again. Very spicy, kind of an intense. Wow. Let me tell you, you eat a whole bag of these, you will know it. That is very spicy. Um. I'm going to give those a 9.2. I like those even better than the peach rings. 9.2. So everything in this taste test was 8.9 or higher. That is very spicy. Um, that's it for today, guys. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you. I hope all of you had a wonderful Easter. And now we turn our attention to Memorial Day and the 4th of July and graduation and spring and summer and you know, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, you know, and thank you every single one of you. It, you all mean so much to me. I love you all. And until then, keep smiling and keep shopping.